So basically our business was at a choking point at processing level. We definitely have the materials in the ground. We have the know-how to process the material and uh, we sort of got to the point where we felt we were out of our league to take that any further without engaging industry and in getting the experts involved. So I first saw the CDE at the stand at Con Expo in 2020. When I saw the stand at, in real life and in the flesh, it became quite obvious that it was first quality manufacturing built to a mining standard. Luke definitely was surprised at the quality of the equipment. We really wanted to understand exactly what they do here, what their challenges are, and how we could help them with that. So we've, we've developed a, quite a bespoke solution for them based on their specific requirements. So we have a natural fine sand derived from sandstone. So our processes start from ripping friable sandstone out of the ground with a D11 bulldozer. We do some mobile screening and crushing to pre-process the material. And then it goes into our wet processing system, which is where CDE takes over. Well, one thing we had found with our processing was the need to introduce attrition cells into the scheme. It was the only way we could find to scrub out stuck on clays and fines and stuff that we couldn't get out of our product. And that was critical for us to make concrete sand out of friable sandstone. And the level of clay and fine silts that we wanted to achieve, we wanted to be cut above our competitors and really push the limits and get it clean for our clients. In Australia and in Sydney in particular, the market is very exacting. They've got a, a tight tolerance and a high spec that they want to make. So it's really important that we get a really clean sand. Really, it's quite a versatile plant. It can take up to sort of 350 odd tonnes an hour. It can withstand either the crushed feed, that's the ideal feed for them, or they, if their crushing circuit's down for any reason, they can feed uncrushed material. We also have a bypass stream, which basically means we can make a, uh, a dirtier sand, a Bricky's Loam sand that's really sought after in the city market. There's lots of unique features in the plant that we've developed alongside peer formations to meet their requirements. From auto greases throughout the unit, greasing bearings, a big uh, amount of clearance between the feed conveyor and the screen itself, and then right through into the connectivity of the plant and how it's controlled from the PLC. So we analyse the production data daily. I'm able to view the uh, smart tech function on an app on my phone and just simple basic information like when the plant was started, how many tonnes were fed into it versus how many tonnes came out. I can quickly and easily uh, evaluate the yield for the day and, and what tonnes have been processed. There's a lot of cool automation within the plant. There's belt wires, there's pressure transmitters, pressure transducers. All of that information is available and fed back to the HMI and it just enables operators to get a better feel of what's actually happening with their plant what they need to do to optimise it and get the most out of it. We've got a lot of local faces here to support our clients and also you know, our investment into the region with the new Stapleton office and the spare parts we hold on the ground is just another part of us backing in our customers. Uh, everybody has a wow moment when they walk down here and see it. It's definitely an impressive piece of equipment to look at and our clients come out and put a smile on their face to see what we've done here and the potential that this is going to do for their businesses as well as ours. Moving forward, our focus hasn't changed. Uh, we endeavoured to produce the best quality fine sand for ready-mix concrete and the construction industry across Sydney.